What up, what up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mordai J and we are locked in. This is Power Book 4, Episode 9, and we want to know how much trouble is Ben again really in. We know that none of us have ever really liked him. We knew from the beginning that he was going to be a crooked cop from the time that he showed up to the barbershop with no hairline and never came back for that free haircut to the harassing diamond in the park, putting him in the car and us finding out about his sister. Now, we've seen that things are starting to get more interesting with episode nine and eight with this new officer trying to come and collect some money. And this has been again acting all the way out of character. Now, before we break this down to see how much trouble he's in, shout out to the notification gang. If you're new to the channel, you'll be a part of it. Hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Hit that like button. It's the easiest thing you can do. Now, Bennigan is putting himself in a, a very bad situation, especially with everything that's going on in CBI. Him sticking his nose all the way into it, it's going to get real deep for him. So let's jump into it and see how much trouble Bennigan is actually in. Officer Bennigan, the first time we seen him was in the barbershop when he pulled up on Diamond. And we knew right then we had to watch him because power, they're always going to give us a crooked cop or somebody that's dirty doing something that they don't need to be doing. And it turns out the reason he was so hard on Diamond is because Diamond is the head of CBI. Diamond did his time in jail. He got out. Now, we were always wondering what put Bennigan in this type of situation. And it turns out that his sister is a vegetable, meaning she's just laying there. She's in the hospital and he needs money to take care of her. So the reason he goes so hard on Diamond is because Diamond used to put drugs out in the streets. And he feels like Diamond is the reason that this happened. Now, we know that that isn't directly what happened, but theoretically yeah diamond puts drugs on the streets your sister took the drugs she is what it is but that's really on her now what we are seeing is bennigan also works directly for vic his job is to keep them out of jail we seen when simon got arrested bennigan was there and vic is saying look if we're going to be paying you all this money you need to be making sure we're getting in and out of there now of course bennigan doesn't have any control over what other cops do but he can protect them out on the streets. Now, this is where it gets complicated for Bennigan. We know that he's on the, the take at the job, meaning he's taking money from dope dealers, bad guys. There's someone else on the job that knows about this. So, of course, he can use this to extort him. We seen in episode eight, he went up to Bennigan and said, look, I want $50,000. And we found out that he's getting $100,000 from Vic. So that 50000 that he owes this new guy, he had to take that out of his money. But he also told Vic, look, if you give me double what you've been paying me, I'll make sure whatever's going on in the streets is dead. So now he's getting 200000 from Vic. But that's to cover that 50000 But we've seen in episode 9, the guy wants another 50000 on top of that. So he owes this man $100,000. And if he doesn't give this $100,000, He's going to get exposed, meaning his sister's not going to be taken care of. He's going to go to jail and he's going to lose everything. So now this has him thinking outside of his normal character and he feels like he needs to go rob Diamond. And the reason he chooses Diamond to go rob, he's getting that extra hundred thousand from Vic. But the only way he can get that is after everything is completed. So he's going to have to come up with one hundred thousand dollars in a couple of days. So he goes after Diamond because Diamond is in the dope game. A dope boy can't go tell the police that I'm getting robbed. Why? Because your money is illegal and also is going to bring you down. So that's what leads Bennigan to go over to Diamond's Barbershop and try to collect some money from him. Now, this is the reason where I say that this is a very bad situation that Bennigan is putting himself into. First of all, him and Diamond, they don't like each other. But what Diamond is trying to do is calm the situation down. Bennigan pulled a gun on him. He actually pistol whipped him. So you already know now you got to think calmly because this dude, he's thinking irrationally. He could easily shoot you and just take everything you got. Bennigan wants to get to the safe and it's kind of like he's a junkie. He's in there. Come on, man. Give me the money, man. Where's the safe at? They go down into the basement. When I tell you Diamond is trying to calm the situation down, what he's trying to do is relate his previous experiences of being in the street and being a black man in Chicago with Bennigan's. He's saying, look, man, we may both start off with the same dream. We both wanted the same end goal. We just went down different paths. Ben again, he's not trying to hear this because all he knows in his head is if I don't get this money, I'm going to jail. 
it's all over. I'm going to be exposed. So he's not trying to hear that. And he still has the gun on him. Diamond goes into the safe and he pulls out $100,000 that Bennington wants. But he puts 50000 on top of it. And in my recap, the reason I said he did this is because if anybody's coming for 100000 that means they need that 100000 that exact amount. You give them a little bit more, this will get them off your case. Now, Bennigan, he's looking and he's kind of he's kind of iffy on this situation. But the reason I said that this is bad is because we know that there's a divide in CBI. Jannar's doing one thing. Diamond is doing another. And Jannar wants Diamond up out of here. So if he finds out that one hundred and fifty thousand dollars is gone, this is going to make it worse between Jannard and Diamond because Jannard already thinks Diamond ain't running things correctly. But now Bennigan, that hundred and fifty is in the streets. And if anybody finds out that you have it, that could have Diamond and the rest of CBI coming after you. Now, I don't necessarily think that Diamond's going to be the one to do it because we heard Diamond talk to Tommy and tell him, look, I can't be in these streets. I'm not going to jail for anybody. So, Bennigan, you're in a rough spot here. And I don't know how this is going to play out, but it looks like Bennigan may end up dead because he's put himself too far into the game further than what he originally was. Remember, he was just a dirty cop working for Vic. Now you're stealing from dope boys. You're robbing CBI. You owe other people. What are you going to do? And you're trying to take care of your sister without getting in trouble, without getting caught. I don't know how this is going to play out for him. Now, my prediction for Bennigan is I'm thinking Diamond may have something to do with it. As far as letting Jannard know, hey, man, there's a cop. He came. He took one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Now, I know that Diamond and Jannard, they aren't seeing eye to eye. And, and I don't want to have to see Diamond get rid of his brother. But I could see him having either Blackston or Jannard do something to set up Bennigan. And that's how we remove him. I just don't see Bennigan lasting throughout the season. Or if he does, he'll be gone early in season two. It's just no need for him anymore. I mean, he works directly with Vic, but Vic, he's over here. He's back with the Flynn family. I don't really need the protection from just Officer Bennigan. So let me know what you guys think about Bennigan. Is he going to make it through the finale? And could you potentially see Diamond having him set up with either Blackson or his brother, Jannar? Let me know what you guys think. I'm Moda J. If you like the content on the channel, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Jimmy on a beat, boy.